Jack Marston's story in the Red Dead Redemption franchise, and I think we can all agree on this, is clearly unfinished. For those of you who don't know who Jack Marston is, here is a quick summary. In Red Dead Redemption 2, John Marston joins the Dutch Vandalin gang after falling out of an orphanage. Years after being with the gang, a woman named Abigail Roberts joins the gang and acts as a working girl for a short period of time. Some time passes after John and Abigail have relations, she gives birth to Jack Marston. Not long after Pinkertons realize their crimes and ambush the gang on several occasions, the three fall out of the gang and build a ranch in Beecher's Hope, West Elizabeth. The Pinkertons find the family and threaten to kill Jack and Abigail unless John hunts down the remaining figures of his former gang. Once John does so, he returns to his family only to be betrayed by the government. Jack and Abigail are forced to leave the ranch as John sacrifices himself to protect them as they escape. As John Marson pulls his gun one last time, he is absolutely murdered and shot down like a dog by the American army. The man who made the deal with John, Edgar Ross, smiles as he celebrates with a cigar and leaves John to die. Years later, Abigail dies and Jack becomes an orphan at the ripe age of 18 and 19 years old, speculating. He then promises vengeance on Ross. He tracks down the federal agent in Nuevo Paraiso and kills him. Jack looks down at his gun in delight and walks away from the scene. There's just one problem with the whole story. What happens next for Jack? And in this video, we're going to talk about how Rockstar should and probably is going to release a DLC or a brand new game to conclude his story. The first reason is the story didn't conclude much. Yes, Jack Marston avenged his father, but what else happened? Did he return to his ranch? Did he become an outlaw? What happened, Rockstar? What happened? Some people probably speculated that he went back to his ranch to live a stable life, but here's one problem with that. How did he keep it? He had no job, and more importantly, Edgar's body was never officially hidden. Someone could have easily seen the body, most likely Edgar's brother, who Jack got the information of Edgar's whereabouts minutes before his death. Then the brother would have definitely suspect Jack to be the killer and file a report to the authorities. Now I know what you're probably thinking, the player could have shot his brother for that reason. Even so, it never really related to the story itself. He only wanted Ross, so why would he kill his brother if the mission didn't require it? Reason number two, a DLC is yet to be announced or released. Over the last year, Rockstar has announced a DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2, but not much else. Many people believe that it is either going to be about the Mexican Revolution, Undead Nightmare, or it was just a summer update. The problem with that is that it wouldn't make much sense and it would still leave Jack's story in the dirt. According to the Reddit user throwaway 11113454, an environmental artist in Rockstar confirmed that a DLC is in the works. Sadly though, when I researched this, they speculated that it would be directed to an Aliens DLC, not a Jack DLC. Reason number three, voice line glitches. On December 9th, 2018, a YouTuber by the name of Fiji, I hope I'm not butchering that name, uploaded a video explaining a dialogue glitch sounding somewhat similar to the voice of Jack Marston from Red Dead 1. Here's the footage. You have a fine morning, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 13. Give me a card. But Damn! You'll turn it around, I'm sure. I don't remember asking you. Well, guess today wasn't my day. Now I believe that there was a Jack Marson voice actor that recorded a few lines for a potential DLC, and those voice lines somehow got into the game by mistake. People give reasons that it could be an upcoming DLC, and others went the other way, that it would not make sense. With how big the game already was or is, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a mistake. But still, if there was a potential voice actor for adult Jack Marston, why wouldn't it be used for a DLC at all? The final reason, reason number four, it would give players who don't like a lot of the game already something to play. Red Dead Online has been a big hit on the game, and Red Dead 2 the story as well, but some players might not be satisfied with Jack's story being the way it was. Making a DLC for Jack Marston would give the players something to look forward to. Like I've said before, the story was never truly finished in my eyes. Those are my reasons. Please leave a like and consider subscribing for more information and possibilities of me making another video like this. With that said, I hope y'all did enjoy my video and let's start convincing Rockstar to give us what we want. Jack Marson's own story.